Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Fallout New Vegas on your Steam Deck, Steam OS, with mods. And in particular, I'm going to show you New Vegas Script Extender mod because a lot of mods require this mod. Okay, so if you go to Nexus Mods page and find this mod, go to Requirements. You can see here, mods requiring this file. So all these mods require script extender. So yeah, it's really important to install this mod. Okay. And uh, one thing you need to take note of that this script extender mod only works with the Steam version and GOG versions of the game. You can see here, it's compatible with Steam and GOG. So Game Pass, Epic Game Store, Bethesda.net versions, they all don't work. And unfortunately for me, I actually have it on Epic Game Store. So I did install Fallout New Vegas with Heroic Games Launcher from uh, my Epic Game Store games library. It doesn't work. I've tried it. Okay. So I got the GOG version and I put it here. Home Games Fallout New Vegas. So I've got the GOG version right here. Okay, and for this tutorial, I'm going to use the mod organizer 2. That's the mod manager I'm using. Okay, if you don't have this installed or you don't know how to install this, I actually do have a video showing you how to do it. All right, recently I did a video for Fallout 4 and that uses mod organizer 2. So I'll link it in the description. Go follow that video, the, like the start at least, the start of it. That, there's a part that shows you how to install Mod Organizer 2 on your Steam Deck. Okay, so follow that video. Once you've got that done, uh, you should have it on your Steam library right here, Mod Organizer 2. So click play. And let's check it out. Okay, so Mod Organizer 2 is booting up. And you can see, like I boot up this instance, it's for Fallout 4. That's not what we want. What you need to do is you need to click this button right here, Instance Manager, and we want to create a new instance. Okay, so create a new instance. Next, create a global instance, and then we're going to browse for our game. Okay, for me, for me, it's uh, right here inside the slash folder. Okay, and then Home, Deck, and then Games and then Fallout New Vegas, okay? So I just click open and it works. But um, if you're using the Steam version, you're using the Steam version, it should be here. Go to your Dolphin Manager and then open Home, okay, Home. Make sure you click this hamburger button and show hidden files is checked because we're going inside a hidden folder, .steam. So here, .steam, Steam, Steam apps, and then it should be inside the common folder. Right, I don't have it on Steam, so I don't have it here. But let's say this is the game, like Sonic Generations. Let's say this is the game. All right. Um, you want to like put it somewhere. You want to drag it somewhere that you can access. All right. Why? Because inside that mod organizer to file selector, you can't go inside the hidden folder. Okay. But you can go to, let's say we can go to documents, right? So we can go to the slash home deck. You can see we don't have the dot steam folder, the hidden folder, but we can go inside documents. Okay, so I'll, maybe I want to put it here. So let's say I want to put it here. I'll go to documents, All right? So from my common folder where your like steam version of the game is, I can just drag Sonic Generations and I drag it here and then I, I don't select move or copy, select link here. It's just a like, uh, a sim link it links it over okay now now if i go here i can select it you see here so home deck documents you can see i can select the game folder but this is not um fallout uh new vegas so it's sonic generations but yeah you get the point okay so let me select my game mine's actually in home deck yeah, games and then Fallout New Vegas. Okay, that's what that's my game, GOG. But for you, if it's Steam, do the other method. And then it says you need to select the edition. I'm going to select GOG. Then next, 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 next. Okay, and then it loads 
mod organizer two again. So I don't want the tutorial, but if you want tutorial, you don't like you're not familiar with the mod organizer two, you might want to press yes. For me, it's no. And then do nothing for me. Okay, so this is mod organizer two for New Vegas. All right. And yeah, right here we've got our stuff. See, I've got like NVSE. So because I've already done it before, that's why it, it already knows that I've got it. Um, but if you don't have it, that's normal. What you need to do is you need to go to your game folder. Okay, so if it's a Steam version, make sure it's in the common folder. Okay, for me, it's in games Fallout New Vegas. And then I've already downloaded the, the mods for script extender. I've actually downloaded a few mods. So um, in here, I'm going to demonstrate the mod called damage uh, numbers. So if this mod is activated, if this mod is activated, uh, when I like shoot my enemies, I've got the damage like numbers showing up. That's very useful for me, I think. So this mod requires a few different other mods. So you can see here, it requires the script extender and like a couple of other ones. I've already downloaded all of these mods. So the first thing, script extender, we can't just install it here with mod manager. We need to manually do it. So go to your downloads and here's my script extender. I'm going to extract it and go to my game folder and just extract all this into the root of your game folder. I already have it, so I just have to overwrite. Okay. Done. Done. And then I'm going to do a demonstration mod. So now I can install my other mods that have that that damage number mods. Okay, so cl click here, this button, install a mod, and then go to your downloads folder. So mine's the slash, and then home, deck, downloads. Okay, so damage numbers, this is the first mod. Okay, and then I'm going to add the other one. So this one, JIP. Okay. Then add the Johnny guitar. These are the mods that require are needed for and then UIO. So these are the mods. All right, so I've added them and you need to click like check them out for it to be working. And that's done. That's done. And then I'm going to show you one more mod that's very useful. It's called um, mod configuration menu. Okay, and I'm going to add one more. I've already downloaded it. I'll link it if you want this. This because this one's a little bit different to install. So once you've got like you downloaded it, I've got it right here. Mod the mod configuration menu. If you extract it, it's just like this. And if you read it, like it doesn't show you that doesn't tell you how to install it with mod organizer two. That's why I want to show it to you now. It's just one file the mod configuration menu dot F O M O D and you don't know what to do with this file. So what you do is go to your mod organizer menu and then here install a new mod, select it. So the mod configuration menu mod, all right, double click it. And then if you click start, it doesn't work. It says there's something went wrong. Okay. So what you actually need to do is you need to Click manual and then it has all this and you just says the content of data looks valid so it's okay just click okay and you've got it right here okay and then let's run the game you need to select nvse all right for the mods to work so let's do it nvse okay game's running and if you press the tilde button, the tilde button is the button underneath the escape key on your keyboard. You see this comes up and yeah, that means script extender is running. Like if you want to be absolutely sure, you can um, type get 
NVSE version. And it says NVSE version 6. Okay, so yeah, that's how you sure that this works. Okay, let me get out of this. Now, um, I'm going to continue. I actually have a save. So let me show you the like that damage numbers that the mod works. So let me go shoot some cows. See this cow here? Oh, it's not a cow. It's actually a ram. All right, see, I'm shooting it and it has damage numbers. Yeah, that means the mod is working. If I press start, okay, my camera's in the way. All right, I've got the mod configuration menu. See, I've got damage numbers. Okay. Uh, maybe bottom left. Yeah, yeah. See, I've got mod configuration menu. Um, if you don't have any mods that use um, mod configuration menu, you won't have this option, even though you installed mod configuration menu. So some people get confused. They install the mod, and then when they go inside the game, they press start, and they don't see this mod configuration. That means you don't have any mods that require uh, mod configuration menu. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this helped you out. I think uh, maybe I'll go to gaming mode and show you it works as well because some people like always leave comments saying that they get it to work on desktop mode but it doesn't work in gaming mode so let me show you in gaming mode all right let me just boot up gaming mode so if you're liking the video so far make sure you hit the thumbs up button it really helps out the channel and you know if you're new to this channel Please subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. Talk a lot about mods, cheats, trainers, emulation. So if that's your kind of thing, this channel is for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Hit the bell button uh, so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, so I'm still trying to boot into gaming mode. It's going to take a while. And then I'll show you how to launch it in gaming mode. So it's basically the same, but uh, yeah, this is just for some people that say like it works in desktop mode, but not working in gaming mode. Just prove that it does work. So if it doesn't work for you, um, I guess something's wrong. Uh, you got to figure out what's what's going on. Okay, so I think we're almost done booting, or not? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, so yeah, in gaming mode, just click on mod mod organizer two. Okay, and then my camera's in the way again. So yeah, just click run. Okay, so continue. Press the start button. Okay, no mod configuration menu. I think it's because the mod's not activated yet. So let me go shoot the rams. Yeah, see that? I've got the damage numbers, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. Oh, someone's shooting me. Now. Okay, so... The damage numbers is working, but the mod configuration menu is not popping up. Okay, so the main menu. Okay. So I think it didn't kick in the, the mod. So now I, I have it probably because um, I had to, um, you know, shoot the guy 
get the damage numbers first for the mod and then that's how you get the mod configuration menu i think if you have other different mods that have mod configuration menu it just pops up immediately right so yeah it does work so i'll leave it here if this video helped you out please make sure you hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any issues and i'll see you guys in the next one later